Hello everybody! I'm wearing a Christmas t-shirt even though as you're watching this it's currently January. That's because when I'm filming this, it is December, it is pre-Christmas, it's allowed. Today I am going to be doing some booktube shout outs, I have 10 channels, you know the drill, all of them will be linked to below. Let's get into it! Dane reads. So up number one we have Bookish, a great member of the community, great guy as well. Um, very, like, I would say he's quite intellectual or at least that's how he strikes me. Um, so I always kind of take it as a bit of a privilege when, um, when he comments on my videos and when we interact with each other because I think he's smarter than I am. <laughs> and I think I'm quite smart so um, that, I don't know, that's saying a lot I guess. But yeah, he's a great guy, really diverse sort of selection of content on his channel as well. Definitely check him out. Number two we have Say Kevy. so Kevy I shout out quite a lot, uh, she's a drag queen booktuber, um, she does a little bit of everything but she's also a big big Agatha Christie fan, she was instrumental in the uh, Christie-a-thon readathon that took place towards the end of December and um, yeah always just like a ray of sunshine as well you know, just a very positive person um, and I appreciate that because it means I can watch her channel when I'm hungover or I'm tired or I'm a bit sad and she'll always cheer me up. Okay, number three, we have Mindy's book journey. Mindy reads quite a wide variety of stuff, a bit of sci-fi, a bit of classics, a bit of fantasy, a bit of contemporary, um, and she also participates in a ton of readathons as well. So I always say this, if, if you're looking for a YouTuber who keeps track of all the sort of readathons that are happening so that you can participate in them as well, check out Mindy's channel, you will not be disappointed. Number four, we have Charlie, Charles Heathcote. He's uh, probably one of my closest friends on Booktube. He's actually recently sent me out some um, French bon dessin, uh, which are like uh, graphic novels. So thank you for that, Charlie. Uh, I've worked with him editing some of his books because he's also an author tuber. I love his vlogs and his wall gathering videos. He works in a charity shop, so he gets kind of access to some pretty cool stuff there as well. And overall, just an interesting guy. Um, he's like the opposite of Kevy in that he's very. Um, I don't want to say dour and depressing, <laughs> but he's um, certainly very realistic and very sort of relaxed and chilled out. I mean, the most recent video I watched of his at the time of filming was a wall gathering he did in his car and it was basically just 20 minutes of him like swearing at other drivers for almost killing him, which tells you a lot about Charlie and his channel. Okay, then we have Linda Booklady, Linda Jo Martin. She is an author. She is also a booktuber. Um, one of the things I always remember about Linda is we both read Bound for Glory by Woody Guthrie. Um, we don't always agree on things. Um, for example, I think she doesn't like Isaac Asimov, which is a travesty in my opinion. But, you know, that's what makes us such an interesting community. We all have our own different opinions. Um, and yeah, she just sort of takes you behind the scenes a bit in her life as well. She doesn't upload as often as I would like, um, but... Um, you know, when she does, it's always a treat. Then we have Todd the Librarian. So Todd hasn't um, posted for like eight or nine months now and actually the last thing that he posted was a review of my book, Meat. So I feel as though I somehow cursed him. If that's the case, Todd, I'm very sorry. Please come back to us, we miss you. Um, the good thing though is he is still watching. He checks in every now and then. I see him on uh, Goodreads, I think, and definitely on YouTube. And uh, yeah, we also used to do Todd and Dane's Indie Read Along. Todd and Dane's. Indie Read Along, which uh, we should probably get back to at some point. So, Todd, hit me up if you fancy doing that. Then we have Alex, the bookish report. He is a northerner from Manchester. Uh, he specialises in reading gas lamp fiction, bit of fantasy, bit of horror thrown in, a um, few classics as well. So gas lamp stuff is very much like inspired by the Victorian era. Sometimes it can get a bit steampunky. Um, otherwise, other times it can just be literally Victorian classics that were written 100 years or so ago. Um, well, more than that now. And yeah, he's just a really nice guy as well, and um, he did a great short recently about uh, aggressive DNFs, even though he aggressively DNFed some books that I, I personally like and would have thought he'd like as well, but you can't win them all. Alright, then we have reading and whatnot, as the channel name suggests, you're in for a mixture of reading and whatnot. Uh, just a really cool channel. Let's uh, take a look at some of their recent uploads, that always helps. This is one of the more, not necessarily the more recent channels that I've um, sort of discovered, but um, I don't tend to see a huge number of their videos, so um, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, so wrapping up November, ofs. Uh, did I hate a highly anticipated new horror? I'm sure I would have hated it too. Um, the cover is very cool though. Um, I'm trying to remember, I'm not sure if I watched that video or not. Uh, she recently celebrated her one year booktube anniversary. Um, what else has she done? Unboxing a long-awaited package. 
October is like a mummy wrapped up. Some great puns there. I must say her title game is on point. Um, oh yeah, she did a discussion about 112263. I can't remember who she did that with now, but it was a long old video. I didn't watch the full thing, but I watched a decent chunk of it. Because um, that's a cracking book as well. All right, then we have Jason's Weird Reads. Jason mostly reads horror, although he does read a little bit of everything. He does quite a lot of indie horror and has also supported like a lot of uh, women in horror through like Women in Horror Month and things like that. Uh, he's been in a few of the uh, author tube anthologies that I've been in recently as well. I edited one of his, his novels, which hasn't come out yet. Jason, get your book out because people need to read it. It's pretty good. So uh, yeah, and also just check out Jason's channel. And then we have Big Hard Books and Classics, Al. So Al obviously does read some Big Hard Books and Classics, but he also does some music as well. In fact, in my watch later right now, uh, at the time of filming this, I haven't watched it because he only uploaded it like an hour ago. Uh, the Beatles, I should have known better. So uh, I'm looking forward to that because that is a bloody cracking tune as well. Um, I don't know, I've, I, as I say, I haven't watched it yet, but it looks as though he might have a singer with him for the thumbnail he might not i don't know but he plays harmonica and guitar and so it's actually a really good song for him to do and uh, at some point soon we're hopefully going to do some more of our musical collabs together as well so there we have it those are 10 booktube channels that i recommend checking out if you haven't already all of the links to them and stuff are below in the description do go through and check them out you can hit subscribe to any of them hit subscribe to my own channel hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video let me know in the comments some of the channels you've been watching recently and uh, i will see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot Bye bye